prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you so much. Thank you, Father. Speak to us tonight. Speak to us tonight. Rabo shata labo siata. Empower us, Lord. Riba shata labo sumendia baba shala basante. Correct us, empower us for the glory of your name. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Psalms 23, 5 to 6. Ano gatzgatafura pamperi pava zivi sevangu. Ano zodza musoro wangu na mafuta mukombe wangu unofashuka. Chadwa dibate the line inotio. He anoints my head with oil and my cup overflows. This statement has to do with a blessing. Ano zodza musoro wangu na mafuta mukombe wangu unofashuka. So the part here, you know, anoint one is the head. He anoints my head with oil and my cup runneth over. The anointing is on the head and the overflow is on the hand. The anointing is on the head and the overflow is on the hand. All right. Pano zodza msoro wangu na mafuta. Then mukombe wangu unofashu kamukombe, let's say for example, cup. So he anoints my head. Oh, let me just do it this way. I want you to see it. The guitar is going to demonstrate a little bit. He anoints my head. But the anointing is done on the head. Just allow me to use this. He anoints my head and my cup overflows. Ano zodza msoro wangu na mafuta, mukombe wangu unofashuka. He anoints my head and my cup runneth over. So the anointing is on the head and the overflow is on the hand. Kumsoro kune zodzo, kumawoko ndurguita the profit of the overflow or the blessing Irikoneka is visible from the hand, but the anointing is upon the head. He anoints my head, and my cup runneth over. So the Dandi Taurabam Sorabe, the power of the mind, the power of the mind, the power of the mind. Simba Rakavi Guapafuga Zemono, the power of the mind. I'm sure we are all aware or we all know that what rules the world is not money or resources, but what rules or governs the world is the mind or the ideas. The idea runs the world. We are blessed with so much resources as humankind or human beings. But what rules the world now? I see nyaya kuti pane zvino zviripo. Asi nyaya kuti tine pfungwa dzati nadzo pamusoro pe zvino zviripo. What rules the world is the power of the mind or ideas. Resources, money, whatsoever you can think of as this more powerful or more effective or more valuable than the mind of the man. Because the value ye gold is not gold, or is gold ratio, but what men can do with gold, which means the idea or the power of the mind over resources, don't you know, create the value upon the resources, which means you can have the valuable resources with you, but as long as you don't know how to use it, uh, as long as you don't have the idea or the greater knowledge uh, on how to use what you have, uh, you know it a lesser value. So the value uh, of the property or the value of anything, uh, anything in the world uh, is in the mind of man. 
e, kukosha kana kuti simbare chinhu nekukosha kwacho kwakavigwa mupfungwa dzemunhu so what rules the world is the power of the mind or ideas value ye chinhu is not about the thing but the value is controlled or the value is from the mind of the man my ideas are nemunhu upon anything do ano create the value up, 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 upon that thing so that ukava ni zvinhu zvacho but usina njere dziri deeper on how to use the thing truly eh unogona kutotambudzika but une chinhu chine more value and anogona kuva successful muno anogona kuti asina chinhu ichocho but anozva kuti chinoshande at the end he becomes the buyer to you that's why you see that africa is not poor but africans are poor africa is not poor africa as a continent is rich but africans are poor and as you control we uh, from prayer ah already we are blessed he anoints my head but my cup runneth over so cup is a shadow picture ye zvinobatwa kana kuti zvinoitwa nemunhu why because it takes ziva kuti god rino shandei kana kuti diamond rino shandei zvatinoita naro ndo zvinokonzera the profit or the overflow kana kuti the influence saka dambo dziko ripo there are times kuti the power of the mind the power of the mind you know that it's an angry one the blessing you know flower say the blessing the anointing is on the head but the overflow is on the hand so the anointing is on the head but the overflow is controlled from the hand which means if the anointing is on the head and yet the hand arina charaka bata because bible rati he anoints my head he anoints my head with oil my cup not his cup as mukombe wangu kureva kuti the size of the cup iri determined nene ruoko rinenge rwakabata cup ndero wangu and the cup is not his cup but it's my cup and my cup it just represent what i do zvandino bata because the blessing the anointing is on the head but the overflow is on the hand which means can at the end it is not charaka but are really empty no matter the anointing is on the head but if on the end kusina chino akugone kumanifest the overflow the overflow it represents the ability or the power of god to make things work in your life the overflow iropa fadzo yamwari iri kufachukira muupenyo wako but there must be somewhere pa zvinoshikira let me take you to the book of luke is in an eye open at what I'm, I'm about to minister to teach akata la bosha rianda la bosha re kata yando lo boshi atabara bazuka dayante rakata bosha li basarando ro boshi aka rakata bosha la bosi anta bebe jali gadela ko sadara boshi ataka mante parado le boshi aka all right look chapter 4 Verse 18 look for 18 The spirit of the Lord is upon me He has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor I'll just uh leave it on the, leave it there The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me The spirit of the Lord is mwaya washe uri pamsoro pangu Mwaya washe uri pamsoro pangu akandizodza kuti diparidze evangeli Mwaya washe uri pamsoro pangu akandizodza kuti diparidze evangeli So the anointing of the spirit of God Jesu achipupura apano kuti mwaya washe uri pamsoro So the anointing iri kuya pamsoro pa Kristo Jesu ndiyani one is a person number two. He is the head ndiye musoro wevangeli and jesus is the word and the word just represent information saka so even jesus as the word he was anointed which means the anointing yakauya pa musoro pa jesu and over the word which means the anointing yakaenda pa musoro pe information jesus is the word 
And the Luke 4, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He anointed me. So the word, Jesus is the word. And the anointing was poured upon him. Which means my results, how effective the ministry of Jesus was. The anointing was poured. The oil was poured upon him. Which means Jesus is the word. Which means the word or the idea can I earn the anointing? You know, it, uh, my results are effective. So Psalms 23, Psalms 23, Psalms 23, verse 5 and 6. It's a picture, a good I'm sure we all love this scripture, Psalms 23. But you can tell us, verse 5, He prepared a table before me in the presence of my I'm sure this network thing is not tender than us. So, there are enemies around you. Marinova prepared the table in the presence of the enemies. Their enemies are there, are there, Kukuzivisa, not to eat. My enemies are Nakungo Mira to watch you eating. Enemies are there. To block you, which means you must know how to handle your enemies. They are not there just to watch you. They are there to disturb you. The reason against my enemies, it means they don't like what's happening in your life. Sarapana Pisha it was she pagadzikwa tafura. Tafura chi chikaf chikafu no jiguane munu chika nari mu Christu. Is the word of God. So, Mwariba Gadzi Katafura, Pamberipa Vazivisi, Kuradi Shokora Maripa Noemu Penyo Wako, Rino Toda Yoku to understand that the enemies are not happy concerning this table. The enemies are not happy concerning this table. Sir David Ashibata, not the Shokorean Dakari, Gamumo Yamangu, could take Greek Tadzrai. Say David Arkoviga Shoko, Shokorake, Aramari Akasariviga. There are people who are ready to attack that word. There are people who are not happy concerning shokura. They want to attack you, especially to attack you not to partake or to eat from the table. Uh, I'll leave that on. He anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Which means the blessing ino shikira pamsorope idea Pam sorope knowledge in the power. Zoreva kuti knowledge ya we na cannot vision, cannot idea ya we na yo. No panit wa pour the anointing or the blessing. Saga epano panenya ya now. If he anoints the head, head represents information, head represents knowledge. Kureva kuti kanapasina knowledge. The anointing kanaeka dururwa. You will never be effective because he wants to anoint the head. He anoints the head and the head represents information. Then the cup will runneth over. So cup So the anointing is on the head. Which means firstly you must get the right information. But usati wa tractor in usati what God empower me, God give me this, give me this. You must know. You must get the right idea, knowledge. So he anoints my head. So if the head is empty, that's a problem. And if also the hand is not holding the cup, that's also another problem. Sometimes this is the body of Christ. The head is not there. Information, incorrect and valid, are hippo. People, they just need to be empowered. But empowerment, usina great vision or greater knowledge, are ego negative effective. All right, I'll explain it this way. He anoints my head with oil. So the oil is poured on the head. And the cup now, the oil is at the overflow. 
So the challenge we have in our times, there is no cup on the end. So if the anointing comes on the head, and on the end there is no cup, there is nothing, truly there will never be an overflow. Because the overflow, you know, the anointing is on the head. Just imagine with the head is there, you are anointed, but you don't have the cup, a structure, a system, which means the anointing is not going but you will never be effective. No, kuta akuna cup ya kabatwa kuruoko. Jesu noti, the son of man is no way. Aana pekuzi samsoro wake. The idea ya inayo concern. So number one issue concerning the things of the kingdom is idea kana uti vision. Pamsoro pe upenyu we munu. You know, when your vision is so small, you don't attract much. I'll give an example. Nese wa gari, endo gara marari. Nese wa gari, wemuno marari. Pati mbapa wapani matepsi embura. Ene mbura ya tino shandi sa ino baku lake chiwero. Lake, imbura ya kawanda iliku lake. But mbura ya unungu na kuwa na mzimba ze wa mune 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 mune. Zine che kuita, nema kontena wa ina wakana mumba muna ane 5 liter kontena. Unungu na ushika mbamake maka zara 5 liter kontena. Ane e drum, unungu na ushika mbamake pane drum re mbura. Asina any container unoshika pampake pari dry, yet are connected to the lake. So your connection, kuna mngari, e connection to greater power, kuna Jehovah El Shaddai, and a greater ability. But the container now, the cup, you know, so consider the overflow. Kana isiko, you run dry, while least you are connected to a greater source. You can run dry, or connected to a greater source. So the devil now, the devil akadaku attack the church, he attacks the head, and the head represents information. He attacks the head. That's why Bukura Ephesians chapter 6, parnota ura pamsole pen numbidze guru wanazo, nota and put on the helmet of salvation, which means you need to protect your head. Musoro uno kosha. Uka kuwadzi waruoko, you can do without a hand. Uka kuwadzi wa gumbo, you can do without a leg, or without legs, or without hands. Uka viskwa nzewe, or nzewe zese, you can handle it. Uka viskwa ziso, kana ese, you can still live and make it. But uka viskwa msoro, no matter how educated my doctors are, but one thing you must know, hakuna artificial head. The head must be original. They can transplant heart. They can transplant liver. They can transplant kidneys. But they cannot transplant the head. Akuna replacement. Sir, the Ephesians 6, you know, and put on the helmet of salvation. Which means the enemy, Akadaku attacker, he attacks the head. Why? Because Andrew Zoti, Akango, Blow up the head off. The body cannot stand or can, cannot do anything without the head. Put on the helmet of salvation. Put on the helmet of salvation. Which means we need to have helmet protection concerning the information. The head represents information. Right, we must protect the head. And the helmet, is the helmet of salvation. Which means you must know, you must understand the real thing about your salvation. Ruponeso. Salvation. Which means you must get the right information, the right knowledge concerning Chinombons to be saved. Chinombons is salvation. Chi. Because each of you such understander the devil can attack you. Your head will be naked. Can I understand the salvation? Uninge a head is covered because the helmet is the helmet of salvation. So when you don't know the real meaning, the real idea concerning salvation, 
unengo chuo pareta with the head eh, it is not covered and the devil will attack that head okay and up jesu ari pa cross bible or not vaka gadzira heti yeminzwa a crown of thorns dogva vamisa mumsoro they left every part vakaisia vaka attacka the head vaka tora heti yeminzwa vaka misa mumsoro zvikita sekunge vari ku increase pain in him but that was an idea for the church what's the idea could the enemy is after knowledge the enemy is after your head the enemy wants to attack issue ine chekuita ne knowledge vaka gadzira corona means a head of thorns vaka misa mumsoro why because the first adam the first adam atadzira mwari mwari vakati you are going to eat out of sweat you are going to eat out of sweat pauri kuenda kuchamera means wane rukato the earth each a producer thorns and thistles to fight against you saka jesu pari kuya vanotora means wawamisa mumsoro in other words that's a prophetic thing chavari kuita kuti means wa yesu akamera muupenyo wako through the first adam you don't need to uproot mathons away with your hands but what you need is an idea the knowledge of the kingdom the knowledge of the kingdom kana babo richiti vaka tora het vaka gadzira means wa in more like a crown vaka fekedza jesu het ye means wa zvora kuti chiri kuita kuti va attack the head the first adam atadza mwari vakati kwa wakuenda kuchamera means wa nerukato the earth will produce thorns and thistles adam remember ari kunoita farming outside the garden and pari kuenda ikoko pane chiri kusimuka against him thorns and thistles saka so, means wa paicha budo adam wekutanga cha akatanga kuita buda mu garden was to deal with the thorns wakando sakura wakanoita weed out the thorns and thistles but jesus pa no ya the last adam vanotora means wa yacho bomisa mumsoro in other words church iri kutupiwa a picture but when you now have the understanding about jesus when you get the understanding of the kingdom automatically unenge waita uproot the thorns because jesus hana kubata means wa ne maoko vakatora means wa vakamisa mumsoro kurati chino dila ne means wa is the head and the means wa ino represent a opposition ino represent a attack saka jesus pa arikisi kwa means wa mumsoro it's a shadow picture yakunzi means wa yese the devil pa achada kukwa attacka you need to have the real head that can carry that can weed out the thorns attack iripo pa church iri pa information attack iripo pa church iri pa information the enemy is after your head because he knows with the anointing you know she get up ahead the blessing and the favor of god in a check with any knowledge here on the ground was kuvane more resources usina ma right ideas or brilliant ideas uh, you will be empowered but still you will be useless because the value chinu chese the world is controlled ne ma ideas kwete ne power the greatest power on earth is knowledge knowledge is power so the greatest power is knowledge so the enemy or the devil is after your head the devil is after your head because package ya accounts wana jesus ya salvation is only represented by a helmet ya unopfeka mumsoro so when you don't have the helmet or the understanding or the ideas concerning your salvation unenge uchi operator une a naked head and whenever the devil attacks your head you are gone because you cannot replace the head akuna artificial head the head must be original which means you must have an original idea of the gospel or original knowledge or information concerning the word of god let me just give you a hint concerning the original information for example I'll give an example. Ukadarisa zvakaita shokura mwari Bible the book of Timothy not we must rightly divide the word we must rightly divide the word 
which means the shock word, not that division. In mathematics, you must rightly divide the words. Okay, there's a shock word. I'm going to read the Bible. Really divided into two. The Old Testament and the New Testament. We are a New Testament church. We are a New Testament church. Through Christ Jesus. Jesu wakawia, kuzotipa a covenant icha. Who replaced the old covenant? We are a New Testament church, right? But New Testament, the actual ino tangira papi, iri effective to papi. Old Testament, the actual yanga ya kamira se yai tangira o papi, ichishika papi. So information iyo ukata zakuwa kuita rightly divide. Ikata zakuwa original. You can mess up the thing. You can be a mixture. And the devil will take advantage of confusion, Yako. And at the end, no matter you are empowered, but as long you don't have ideas or original knowledge, you cannot be effective. Because the anointing is upon the head, and the overflow is upon the hand. So what am I saying? I'll give an example again. The book, Shogoramari, the Bible, is divided into two, Old Testament and New Testament. We are a New Testament church. Through the covenant, ya kaitu kwa pa Calvary. The first covenant, ya kaitu kwa, ya kaitu kwa pa Mount Sinai, through Moses. But the second or the last covenant, ya kaitu kwa pa Gomore Calvary. Pa Gomore Calvary. Kana utipanji, boi nonzi Gogota. Gogota, it means a place of skull. Kana kutinji, boi dee, nya. Skull means the head. Jesu akarovere wa pa Gorogota. Gogota means a place of skull. Njimbo ye dee nya, kana kuti njimbo ye msoro. Which means Jesu pa haka uya, haka unza the original head. That is the original idea. Jesu waka rovele wapa gogota. Gogota means a place of skull. Njimbo ye dee nya, kana kuti njimbo ye msoro. Why? Because iye aiti manako manawe munu, ahana pekuisa msoro. Saka aga zoisa msoro pa msoro. Pehumwe msoro kurotu. Haka unza e, a new idea, a new covenant. Kutisiva ya ngai ripo. So, njimbo ya karoere wa Jesu is also a prophetic insight. Yekuti haka roere wa pa gogota. Njimbo ye de, nyaka na kutu njimbo ye msoro. Which means, ndia haka ba kumsoro kuzotisiva. The old system to bring the new one. That's why the first miracle of Jesus in John chapter 2, when he turned water into wine, the master of ceremony, Aka Pupura Chit, Dakaenda Michato Mijinji, but wine yatawana pano, yatanga ichitapira, ichingwe improve, ichingwe enda ichitapira, which means the master of ceremony, that's the first miracle of Jesus in Pamuchato. Why the first miracle in Pamuchato? Muchato only represents a relationship. Which means nyika. No iriku chati iskwa na mngari. But ipane changa chaka shota. Wine. And what is wine? The blood of Jesus. Why? No kuti vayi mbo shansa ropa remuka. Saka they run out of wine. Kurewa kuti it was a shadow picture. Kuti they run out of the blood. Because vayi yunza muka. Ma animal sacrifice. But no kuti ufumi uno pera. Saka the old church ya kaita run out of wine. Kushika jesu au ya anova the new wine. He is the true vine and we get wine from the vines. Saka jesu pa hariku ya aru ya guzo un za cha shota kuti relationship hii continue. No kuti wine ndo ya ka shota pa mchato. Saka wano vaida relationship na mngari but pa hii shota the original blood. Saka jesu pa haka ya he turned water into wine because he himself is the true vine. Saka shoko rake ndo rakava the new wine. But I want it to be an eye opener to you. So the Old Testament, Irikuya through Moses, which means Kanatagu divide the Shokoredi Kutitwene original understanding, the real idea. Irino Tangira Paguti, Pa Mount Sinai, no Panoya law through Moses, which means before that, before that, Akuna law, no Kuti law Yakapi or Moses, Pa Mount Sinai. Before that, e dispensation is in a law. No kuti law yaka uya pa Mount Sinai na Moses. So, kubaku mashure kwe esoko shikapana Moses. Ah, uh, ahisi, 
Old Testament. Testament tukuleva sungano. Sungano yaka itwa ili old. Yaka itwa na mwarina Moses. Pa Mount Sinai. So ili kuitwa pa Mount Sinai na mwarina Moses. Ndopa no piwa Moses mitemo. Ndopa no tanga the movement yellow. Right. This position iyo ino shika pa ino itwa hand over. Shika pano ya the book of the prophets. Shungu enda shaka daro. Right. But we shall not kune shaka torwa before the law. Shika iskwa futi mulo. But originally as this is mulo. Shaka itwa before the law. For example. Jacob promised to give God a tenth. Achienda kumba kwa laban. That was the revelation of him tithing unto the Lord. Also, I'm not teaching about tithing. Whether you believe it or not, it's not my issue. I want to just give you an eye-opener, a brilliant idea or understanding original mind. Even Abraham, when he met Melchizedek, he gave a tenth, not by force, not as law, but by revelation. Not by force, not as law, but by revelation. So that the tithing story, you know, originated from Abraham. It was not given to him as a law, not by Moses. Because Abraham, by revelation, he gave his tenth unto Melchizedek. And Melchizedek is a shadow picture of Jesus. So Melchizedek is the shadow picture of Jesus. And Abraham, Melchizedek, the shadow picture of Jesus. Not by law, not by force. But by revelation. But when Moses came now, that system get into Yaka Abdo. But by revelation, he did it. So is Jacob as well. So is also Jika adopt one. By time yellow na Moses, Jika came in. Mulo. As you see out of law, really out of revelation, encounter ya Abraham na Melchizedek. Jika adopt kwa jika pinda mulo. I adoption. As you know, originator imom, I adoption. Jika operator zirimo. Jika operator zirimo, jika ramba zishimuva. Even after the time of Moses, jika unto the prophets, jika jika unto Malachi, the prophet. All right. So, before Moses, that's not law. Law came through Moses by Mount Sinai. Then Jesus came in now, Joseph Vauya, with a new dispensation of grace. All right. I'll give you another example this way. Mushokuramari mune let's go to the Ten Commandments. Apart kuti it's written as law, but from natural understanding and common sense, it's good to do so. Nika pachayo ino shikapa ino adopt a law y mushokuramari yova a lifestyle out of common sense. Nika ino to zwa kuti zaka naka kuti mun are make it zwabirikwaki nika ino zoti zaka naka. Kutimuna have any respect towards his parents. Nika ino shika pa kushika mchira kuti kubira munu kwa kaipa. Not by law, by common sense in the reasoning. And to live as a good citizen. Kubira munu akuna kunaka. Kurati tino gona kwa adopta that. Not because we are in law, but it's a good thing to live like that. So chini chaka adopt kwa chichu ya musistim. Achina kuya by law. Chaka uya by adoption. Mm. I, I, I don't know kada mchindi nzwa mwishe papa. What am I trying to say? Do that it is okay pa statement and utaro kuti the enemy is after your head. Because kana shokoriji to put on the helmet of salvation. Jorati yo, the enemy is after your head. Why? Because the real package is salvation. Uka say understander. Uruko operator with a naked head really exposed for the enemy to attack you. Waka tora corona e means, wawaka ruka means, wawaka isa momsoro majesu. Varuta sekunge varuka era. 
minzwa adam akanzi kwa wakuyeda kuchamira minzwa which means jesus pa ari kuya anova the last adam minzwa yacho haite kubvisa nemaoko minzwa yacho inoiswa mumusoro which means your head now head represents knowledge or information which means when you get the real and the right idea you can deal with what the enemy is about to do against your life saka namwe ataita ndeye kuti there are times yekuti tine confusion tine a mixture of information tine confusion or we don't have the right information so we are operating tine a head is it valid to carry the anointing why because bible that he anoints my head he anoints my head wakazodza musoro wangu kurwa kuti musoro i information chino attract the anointing is the head and the head represents information saka munhu kana asina the valid or the right information so you know there are times a man can preach without the anointing munhu unogona kushumira asina anointing but mwari akada kuti munhu ashumire he anoints you for you to minister he anoints you which means he anoints the idea ya ajgara mauri he anoints the information it is valid ya aisha mauri he anoints my head so the anointing is on the head but the overflow is on the hand and the head represents knowledge or information because what rules the world my ideas value chino inova pa capacity yekufungwa kwemunhu kuti ndingachishadi sei chingaite gold ari now value as gold gold rakapiwa value nekuda kwekuti kuna akafunga kuti tingari shandi sei havana kungosukwera vamuka vakangoti gold rino dura rine much value ah it's the use kuti rino... so which means it is the idea upon the thing that makes it more valuable so he anoints my head and my cup runneth over cup runneth over so it is the head that attracts the anointing moya washe uri pamsoro pangu akandizodza kuti ndiparidze ivhangeli musoro i idea i knowledge so the head or the information do you know attract the anointing and when you are anointed now what runneth over is the cup no matter wakambona zi track the fuel zi track the fuel nenge rakatakura fuel rinoenda fuel pa service station vakasesa fuel yakawanda mu tank re track iyo track iro rinogona kupererwa ne fuel rakatakura fuel why because the system iripo pa motor ndiye kuti even riri track the fuel a ritore fuel kubva mu tank kuti rori ifambe rinotora fuel kubva mu ka tank ke rori kwete muzi container so he means ka tank ke rori kaka vakadiki kana mukaiswa fuel shoma rori ye fuel inopererwa ne fuel to the ideas of the kingdom which operate pa natural common sense unogona kupererwa kuomerwa uri connected kuna mwari we connected kuna mwari but usina the kingdom idea unenge uchitora kubva pa tank rako ukaoperate pa level yekuti unona matamwari wa masimba ose but your ideas are dzina kuva connected to the idea of the kingdom zvirawo kuti uri kutora mu tank rako uchifamba saka unogona kupererwa ne fuel wakatakura fuel unogona kuomerwa kunetswa wakatakura nyasha zhinji but dzisiri kushanda mauri why because dzino shanda through a system yeku connector so your connection now your head your ideas dzino fani waku you are suspended bible romans 12 to you know your mind must be renewed by the word fungwa dzenyu ngadzi vandudzwe your mind must be renewed by the word your mind must be renewed by the word kuti kuti mind yako iri ro kudaro haigone kushanda kushika wasi yekuti the anointing is there moya muchena ariko is the anointing but pari kushaikwa the head that can carry the anointing he anoints my head 
and my cup runneth over. So the anointing I ask cup, the anointing it we head. And the head represents information, knowledge. So if the head is empty, upon information, upon knowledge, there is no point for the anointing. For example, can a motor is na engine, there is no point to put full tank a motor yoyo. Motor ika iskwa full tank is na engine. Mugada kuti ifambe munaita yeku pusha. So there are times you are struggling. You are a second and you are going to go to church You are connected to God. But you are going to go to church you don't see the end of God. You are going to go to church Why? Because the engine represents the mind. Mota is an engine. You can full tank. You are going to go to So the anointing represents oil or the fuel. But the mind now, the idea, the head, is the engine. Do you know, Kuti, unotakura nyasha jinji, over waita juni jishoma, una marimu jinji. Dambu ziko arisi na mwari wacho, but ya zibondere kuti paja, shitwa, apana the idea or the vision iri greater. Makatabo shalebo sarega dayasa. Manta ya zika de la masanto robo shiataka. Ni katarando lobo shalega daraba sataka yandi. Riba sayado lebo shiaka. Saka jesu parguti. Mwya washe uri pamsoro pangu. Akandi zod za kutindi pari ze. Mwari ni mwari ane zizinji ane simba zizinji. And the result is nobody has really dig is a rice was really Monoe Saru Garamarari are connected to the lecturer. Mvuraya Kawanda. But Mumba Mako can now see na Goro Mvura can now see na Drama Requisa Mvura. Ungo ne two liters. Uno na two liters. Uri connected to lake. So the anointing can I kakura. But the limitation. Iri pa msoro pima containers. I'm sure you can uh, refer to the book of uh, Second Kings, chapter 4. Chakali mita kuanda kwe mafuta mumbame mkazi. Akaenda kuna prophet Elisha. Ma container. Not the oil. Not the Bible, but not the oil was finished. Not the oil stopped. Mafuta aka mira. Aka mira. Kwe mafuta aka pira. Why? Mwana pa akata musisi na ma container. The oil stopped. Ano zodza, msoro wanguna mafuta, mkombe uno fashuka. So as long there is no container, hakuna the overflow. As long there is no container, hakuna overflow. The anointing is there, but chino fashuka mkombe, what you handle, what you touch, zoruku bata. Mwari watu wanile nyasha. Fungwa zedu zivandu zikwene evangeli. Vai sema vision zaka kura mkati mwa upenyu. Wedu nyasha zile muna mwati zaka kura. Fever ili muna mwari yaka kura. But ika shika pekuti the head is not there. The idea is not there. Hapa gone kuiskwa the anointing. Kata pasina the head. He anoints my head. Which means he anoints the information I carry. He anoints the idea I carry. He anoints the information I have. Jandi no tenda ni kuziziwa kuti mwari ano ita. Doja anu tendera anointing kuita ni mandiri. Jandi no tenda kuti mwari ano ita. Doja no tendera wa the anointing ya kuti jiti ke kuti flowe. Jandi singa tende, jinole wa uta apasina container. Saka the oil will stop. Mafuta apere, mafuta ano mira, kana pasina container. Kana pasina idea, pasina vision. Mwari ali mwari mujinji. Ano ita jishoma. Panguwa ya Solomon. King Solomon. Although he was the rich man of that time. But ane shakali mitika maupenyo wake. Kwete nekuti mwari wa, wa, wa Solomon. Asia na ayi is the same. But in our times. Pane ka thinking. Pane ma ideas. Aapo are better and greater than the times of Solomon. 
Solomon aga shika pa kufa asina phone. Anga asiri reachable Solomon. Ana vira enda pa internet, ana google, ana vita whatsapp, ana vira pa facebook. He was the richest. But the area ye information anga is so limited. He I can reach out to New Zealand, I can reach out to USA. Daga garamuno mumbandiri muno marari. Why? Because of the idea ya apple. So kuramari ruto flower, which means the word is now reaching out to all over the world. Not simply because there is anointing, but there is an idea that makes the anointing flow to many parts of the world. Reach out to the United States. The anointing is there. But the anointing is where the idea is whether it's Zoom, it's Twitter, it's Facebook. Facebook, Zoom, or Twitter, information, information, idea, idea. I idea ya guys kwa mumunu na mwari. Idea iyoyo. Ndwe ya kukon zira jumwe zunu shuda kitu kwa na mwari kutu jitike. In an instant moment we are reaching out to New Zealand. In an instant moment we are reaching out to people in Dallas, Texas. Shiriku iti kwa jite reach out iko kwa aiz anointing. I idea. So the word rene anointing. But the anointing iri kutora advantage ye head. The idea on the ground. The idea is Facebook. The word is not anointing, but it may results for it to reach out, for the cup to runneth over. Because the two parties are so shocked to run over to many nations. I see them Zimbabwe beds, Mkombe would go fast shuka, but Jatangira Papi pa idea. You we are using Facebook. So Facebook is thinking, Facebook is idea. May God bless you with an idea. May God bless you with great information. Mwariva inyasha jinji. Gather open your mind to have a brilliant or a great idea to make an influence or impact in the world. The devil knows the attack at the head. The overflow are iti kebo kuno tangira nyaya agusiku cup to run over. Kuno tangira nyaya inokonzira the cup to run over. It's the head. He anoints my head. So the anointing is on the head. But the overflow is on the hand. So which means the devil not attack the cup or the hand. The devil will attack the head. So you need to put on the helmet now of salvation. And the salvation which means your, the, what you need to protect is the head of salvation. His idea can have knowledge. Salvation is all about Jesus. And Jesus, he is the word. So putting on the helmet of salvation is putting on protection by idea. Why? Because the devil is after knowledge, is after idea. Because as long you run out of knowledge or idea, you don't need the devil to attack you. You lack of knowledge, pachayo is an attack. And worse in our times, at this time, we have lack of knowledge, but we have confusion. Too much knowledge and wrong information. Jamom society. People of God, hear me very well. He anoints my head and my cup runneth over. He anoints my head and my cup runneth over. Let me show you something. Nyayaye idea ko ye head kutu uwene anointing. Head in our information. You seek information you also learn from others. But in danger, sometimes we fail to learn from others. We think we know everything. At the end, we through exposure. Through exposure. There are new things or great ideas you can learn from others. Having a spirit, I know everything, is in attack to your head, information. Why? Because the information 
ya usinga ziwe ya unongo dzidza kubva kune vamwe there is information you can get just by learning from others that's why second kings chapter 4 mukadzi akanzi go and borrow vessels from your neighbors from your community which means the prophet akato profita kuti miracle yerda kuitwa pano you must have uh, an understanding that you don't have all the containers ah uh, usiriwo ne ma container achakonzera kuwanda kwe mafuta mumba mako mune ka container kana mafuta mashoma you are connected to the prophet but you don't have the containers the containers are outside so go and borrow containers from your neighbors we means go and get ideas containers from others kune zvinoitika mupenyu kana wavo shika mu environment icha kana kuti ukava exposed kuzvinishicha there are things you can only learn from others people of god hear me very well kana shokorati anozodza musoro wangu na mafuta mukombe unofashuka so the enemy now make sure he attacks the head because as long the head is not there the information is not there there is no need kuti pave ne anointing anointing ndo inozounza the result kumaoko akabata chinhu kuti kuyo ne overflow he anoints my head my cup runneth over what is connected the head and the hand the head and the hand my effect here zvese zvinobatwa nemunhu zvinobva pa thinking pa mindset i am sure ukazitarisa even kumabasa kuti working hard ne working head zvine mari dzakasiyana if you work so hard workshop unopiwa shoma dzane munhu ane a working head ari mu office a working head ne a working hard zvine mari dzakasiyana even as a shadow picture pa kuberikwa kwemunhu munhu anotanga kubuda musoro that's a sign kuti panyika pa wauya usati wafamba kana kubata chinhu get the right idea tanga wafunga usati wafamba tanga wafunga usati wabata zvaruda kubata saka munhu pa anoberekwa antanga abuda musoro a picture yekuti panyika pa uri kuuya you need the head first you need information the head represent idea or information panyika pa wauya what rules the world is the head or the information hasi makumbo hasi maoko but the idea rules the world so the devil is after your head why because the head represents knowledge or information he knows kuti ukashaiwa the right information ukashaiwa the right knowledge you are done Father I pray over your people I pray over the church and I pray over the believers Nyasha dzenyu pamusoro pe upenyu vana venyu Brilliant ideas right information Shokorenyu rati munozodza musoro baba tiri kuda vhangeri riku musoro vhangeri rinobata muupenyu wedu vhangeri rinokonzera kuzodzwa nekuita ma exploits We pray for new and brilliant ideas and greater visions image of El Shaddai the one who can empower us amugone kuti ita empower kana disina greater visions greater knowledge we pray almighty god in jesus mighty name amen and amen so kuvana mwari mujinji usina the great idea or the greater information or the right information awite my exploits akakura okay daniel 11:32 shoko parinoti lano ziva mwari wao vachava ne simba vachaita mabasa makuru those who know their god shall be strong and do exploits lano ziva which is knowledge which is information lano ziva mwari wao vachava ne simba so what empowers you is knowledge and they will do great exploits so my great exploits are hidden in knowledge 
my great exploits are hidden mu knowledge ukasatenda kuti mwari vanoita zvini izvi why because mwari vano operate mu penyu wako through your faith so ukasatenda kuti mwari zvano zviita ava zviite why because vanoita through your faith your level of understanding or your level of knowledge so the devil will attack nyaye information the devil will attack your head the devil is after your head vakatora means wavakaisa mumsoro ma Jesu vari kuda kuti musoro baiwe baiwe urwadziwe why the devil is after your head why because the head represent information Saka Jesu asoka pa kuti ayo mwana koma na munhu ari kushaya pekuisa musoro Why no kuti already banga pane umwe musoro banga pane mamwe ma ideas saka aifa nwa kutanga bisa iripo saka kufa kwa Jesu ari kunofa pa Gogota a place of skull njimbo yemusoro kana njimbo yedehenya That's why kuna Genesis zvishoko rakati the seed of a woman will crush the head of the serpent the seed of a woman will crush the head of a serpent the head of a serpent is wrong idea the head represent idea kana kuti information so the seed of a woman anova Jesu will crush the head of the serpent the seed of a woman will crush the head of a serpent the seed of a woman is jesus will crush the head of a serpent the head of the serpent is the idea or the information of the devil that's why his death wakano fira pa gogota a place yemusoro njimbo yedenya he is now crushing the head of the serpent the seed of a woman who crushed the head of the serpent which means can I see not the right information when go to operate a wrong information which is the head of the serpent Ugaenda bukura it's Bible or not vachimirira moya mucheni vanga vari mu upper room vari mu upper room they were waiting for the holy ghost vanga vari mu upper room that upper room is a shadow picture ye upstairs they were upstairs in the upper room and they were waiting for the holy spirit vari mu upper room they were waiting for the holy ghost vari mu upper room vari mu upper room vari mu upper room they were waiting for the holy spirit upper room or upstairs eh is grinongoreva mind without when you operate above common sense you can carry the anointing both the anointing ino gona kulimitwa nemafungiro angori canal ari natural the devil is after your head the devil is after your head why because the whole thing about salvation is in the mind put on the helmet of salvation protect that idea get the real information concerning jesus he anoints my head and my cup runneth over wakazodza msoro wangu na mafuta mukombe wangu unofashuka so the anointing is upon the information upon the knowledge zvino zvikitwa kumaoko zvino uya ne overflow nekuda kwekuti the brain or the mindset is anointed in anointed mind ino cause ama great exploits thank you so much guys we can meet again tomorrow may god bless you with a brilliant and a great idea and a bigger vision vision ikakura the blessing the anointing or the favor